You can only comfortably sit at about 180 kilometers an hour for long stretches on my street glide. Three reasons you're gonna live longer riding a Harley Davidson motorcycle, no BS. I ride motorcycles and I've done so all my adult life, just like some of you. Now I wanna to live to the ripe old age of 100 plus, and I wanna to ride to the end. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm talking about, so it's going to happen. Let's discuss this serious, life-changing issue. Live longer with me, ride with me to the end. Now number one is, they're slow. Harley Davidson's are slow. Harley Davidson's are slow, so it's not dangerous. Seriously. Now my street glide at the moment, it's only got about 130 odd horsepower and the same when it comes to torque. Now we've all seen the government propaganda. We know that speed kills. We believe everything the government tells us. It's not about taxes. And therefore we can easily come to the conclusion that riding a Harley Davidson is very safe because they're not that quick. Now, like some of you, I've grown up on super bikes in the 80s and 90s, and then I've moved across to Harley Davidson's to extend my lifetime. So when you ride slow, you're gonna live longer. You're going to stay alive. I love the number one reason, ride a slow bike. Now, I wouldn't know for sure, but you can only comfortably sit at about 180 kilometers an hour for long stretches on my street glide. Of course, I haven't done this. I'm a force for good, not evil. Other people who have borrowed my motorcycle have sworn that that's the case. Now I've had other bikes where I've been told you can comfortably sit for long stretches at about 240, maybe a little bit more. Now that extra 60 kilometers an hour makes a huge difference. Speed kills. We're on a Harley, we're gonna live a long time. You know, you could argue that riding a Harley is very sensible. Now, even through the traffic, the extra width of the street glide means you've got to go between cars at a much more sensible speed. In fact, sometimes that gap is a little bit too small. You've got to sacrifice the paint on the edge of the fairing as you clip their mirrors. Of course, you don't want to do that too quick because you really are threading the needle. So you've got to slow down. Now look, my bike's had a few modifications done to it, so it's probably, so it's a fair bit faster than a stock standard Harley Davidson. I mean, on a standard Harley Davidson, the top speed's pretty low. Check out this fast Johnny that I tested the other day. I was sort of testing the suspension. I was talking to the owner of the bike and she was complaining that she gets the speed wobbles. I was telling her that my bike with the Wilbur suspension is perfectly fine. I tested out her bike looking for any anomalies in the steering or suspension. It's all pretty standard and the top speed was slow. Price of petrol was around $1.75 a litre. Now, if you own the latest Ducati, that's gonna aid you just on service costs alone. I'm gonna easily service my bike for the price of some oil. Hi, my name's Eamon, welcome to the channel. Check out the website, oldnotdead.club. Grab yourself some great supporter gear like this fantastic t-shirt, a cap, a beanie, a sticker. Support the channel, show the world you're old, not dead. Now reason number two, Harley Davidson's have a huge community around them. So what you might say, well, it's been shown by looking at the blue zones. Blue zones are the areas around the world where people seem to live the longest. It's been shown from studying these areas that community plays a huge role in extending people's lifespans. Now, community means building relationships, having people you can rely on, friends, acquaintances, networking, belonging to the right tribe. That's the pirates, not the Power Rangers. And you can't argue, well, maybe you haven't experienced it yet, but Harley Davidson has a community. What's interesting about the Harley Davidson community is you are welcomed everywhere you go. Just finished a long weekend with a national holiday. I was out and about with my wife and other friends on the bikes.
Blake's Holiday House. Let's roll up. saying before that I got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. So I've been sitting at a cafe for a while and I come out to the bike, check this out. In the streets, we're moving to the beat. There's something in the air that makes the city come alive. A breeze that makes you high. Gotta break the juju. I went and checked out a community across the other side of the city. That's Wind and Bike Night. Awesome people everywhere, every weekend. You got me feeling like On the other side of town checking out the Wyndham bike night just boat shacks and water fantastic tucked away place I thought I was going to be late. It looks like I'm early because they haven't arrived back from their ride yet. I've been honoured to be the guest judge for the Wyndham Bike Night. Who's going to win the competition? Am I going to pick a black street glide? Arthur's staying the night, I take it. Is that right, Arthur? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and um, your airbed's flat? Yeah. He reckons I'm full of hot air so I can pump it up. What, no. do, you, what do we think? <laughs> Put in the comments if I'm full of hot air. Well, no, let's show me how good you are, mate. I got all the signs, but I couldn't. Let's meet Crumpy, not Grumpy. <laughs> Guys of Bahala. How'd you get that nickname, Crumpy? Uh, last name's Crumpy. Oh. <laughs> so, there's no, there's, so there's no story. Now, usually when you meet somebody, you wouldn't stir them up. But this gentleman, he's pretty brave, even though I can punch hard, he's making good jokes about my name. Tell us. Sorry, bro, but uh, the thing is, I'm really a very religious man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> nah, so good you're, you're, you're gonna say a prayer for me? <laughs> no, no, no. You're a good blog, Amen. And Fidelity, I really like you, man. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> we got the barbecue happening. And check out the. Are we call it a house or a shed? Shack. Love shack. Check out the love shack. Australia Day barbecue at the Wyndham Bike Night.
Stoney's been leading me astray and riding a little bit. Right, let's try out this awesome road glide with a quick shifter and a recluse clutch, which means I can take off without using the clutch. This is going to be awesome. It goes all right because I was following, I was following before and um, very hard on a standard street glide riding Marie's to keep up. Road glide! that it's Australia Day. Here we go. Even the Kiwis wear the hats, you see? <laughs> <laughs> see what I've got to deal with? Best bike third place is the Wide Glide. Third, third place. Steve, on your Steve. Yes. All right, I love Wide Glides. I used to have one myself. Fantastic. Hang on, well, take well done. <laughs> and a photo with me. Because there's no rules, I can do whatever oh, I like. Yeah. And second prize goes to the Big Road Glide. Stony! <laughs> because I took it for a ride and it's a great ride and it's in fantastic condition and taught me a few things about bikes too. So, first prize... Goes to Eamon's street glide! <laughs> I, I want to do my street glide but I think I'll get lynched so I won't. So, first prize is going to go to... First prize goes to Marie's Street Glide because it's got a fantastic paint job and no other reason. It looks fantastic. I'm not now. First prize. What do you get? I've got. I've never won a competition on it. You've never won a comp. No. Am I allowed to? She's never won a competition. So we got. So we got a 40, what is it, a, a 40, forty dollar AMX voucher and hang on there's more, there's more. Oh wow! We got, Why the hell should you always be? We got some old not dead stickers. Oh wow. And a patch. Shit up. <laughs> and there's more, there's more. Oh yeah, yeah. Guys, just your luck. Right, we've, got this, we've got this gas cap keeper from Rick Rack. So it's like a magnet goes on your um, gas cap so that it won't fall off you can stick it on anything metal and it's um, got like a rubber coating oh you beauty so there you go very handy i got one on my bike fantastic <laughs> winners! Winners are winners over here, winners! It's not fair to you, I know, and I'm sorry I can't let it go. There's something desperately wrong with me. Hush, don't tell me what's going on. Reason number three, because Harley-Davidson's are so slow, it forces me 
to keep my weight down. This is serious. We all know less weight means faster bike. Got to balance out number one. Less weight, faster bike. I think everybody knows that. I've shown that in other videos plenty of times. There's a mountain of evidence that says too much body weight is bad for your health and gives the chop to a large chunk of your lifespan. There's also a mountain of evidence that says muscle mass is healthy and increases longevity. So we can easily conclude that we want to keep our muscle, we want to lose, we want to delete, we want to trim, we want to get rid of body fat in order to lose weight. So less weight if we chop fat equals a healthier life and a longer life. And a faster bike as Harley's is slow. So what do I do to stay healthy and to lose body fat? One of the easiest ways is to trim carbs. That way you don't have to reduce calories as much. So I eat less or I eat minimal carbs. And of course there's high protein because you've got to eat something. So you so I eat high protein, high fat. Get rid of all the processed crap, get rid of as many chemicals as you can. It sort of slips into everything and sometimes it's unavoidable. Big deal, do your best to get rid of most of it. Exercise, almost every day I exercise. If I'm not exercising, I churn out a few push-ups before I jump into the shower in the morning to keep the habit going. If you can't be bothered exercising, go for a walk. It's better than nothing. A brisk walk does wonders. I try and walk the dog every single morning really does impact your body fat in a positive way. If you want to find out more about this, I've linked an interesting video up here. Don't forget to check out the website oldnotdead.club and grab some great supporter gear. Live long, ride safe. See you on the next video.